how to use the Glyph browser in Affinity Photo. First thing to do, find it. That's the key thing. View and Studio and Glyph Browser. You can see it there. Also, I'm going to be using layers in this. So I've got the browser here. Just going to move that out of the way. And the great thing about this is you've got vast source of different designs. So you've got all these fonts which you can access and look at. Of course, they've all got different licenses. So please check out licenses before you use it if you want to use them like for commercial use. But I'm using this for personal use. So I'm just going to go through these different designs. But I'm also going to use ones that on my Graphic Extras website. Uh, these ones I've designed, I've created. And on that site, all these designs can be bought and used in it for any purposes. So they're completely free of any sort of commercial or personal use. You just do what you want. So there's the designs there. Also, I've got lots of free demo ones you can download. So if you just go to the graphicextras.com website, just download them and just try them out, use them here. And I say completely, utterly free what you can do with them. So now, of course, the designs I've got here maybe are not on that demo section. So I'm just going to select one of these designs. And you can run through with the Glyph browser. You can look at all the designs. You go there right side and you can see you've got small size now if you want to do that small size very hard to see of course you can very tiny but with larger size you can see most of the designs now there's no you can't fortunately you can't hover over it and sort of makes a big design that would be great however it's fairly easy to see the design sort of <laughs> wouldn't say it's perfect but you can change the font at any time you can go through obviously select a different one so you can go there and you've got then all these cross designs. So maybe you decide you want one. How to use it? We'll just go over here to the artistic text tool. I'm just going to use artistic text. Now I'm using red at the moment and the size is 120 there. So click there and maybe use this one. So double click and then you've got your design. If you want to change it, simply go there to the artistic again tool and maybe go for another one. I'll change it to that one. So you can just quickly change it by double clicking as long as it's selected. You can also, of course, I'm just going to move that over, add more than one. So if you've got the, the font there and double click again, you can see you can add another. And also, of course, you don't have to have it red, so for green or black. So you've got the design there. So it's a very easy way of accessing thousands of different designs all stored in a font. And of course, there's lots and lots of fonts. But again, make certain that you have a valid license to do various things with that design. So it's just for personal use. If you're just using it, messing around with, creating some designs, then that's fine. But of course, if it's for commercial use, you best check the license. So you've got your design there. Well, I'm going to remove that one. I don't want that. I'm just going to go with that one. Because what you can do, you can use it, of course, continue just to use it as a standard font. Maybe you can obviously print it normally, perfectly reasonable, or incorporate it in different designs, but you can also simply convert it into a normal path or curves. And how to do that in Finity Photo? You got go down the bottom, layer menu, and there's also other places, but I'm just going for the this option, convert to curves. Now it's clearly not curves, but that's the terminology they use. It's just an out, turn it into an outline, expand it, whatever you want to call it. But you've got it now as a normal path that you can manipulate using a variety of tools, not as many as maybe Affinity Designer. One thing, sadly, Affinity Photo and Designer, there's no real plugins where you've got lots of different tools to manipulate them in millions of different ways, but you can. I still manipulate it using like the node tool. So you've got the node tool and you can see then the individual nodes and then you can manipulate it. So you can change design, maybe reduce that down. If you can't go over here to the Glyph browser anymore, that's, that's it. Once you've converted it, it's been expanded, it's no longer typed. So you can create all these sort of designs like that. And of course you can apply add effects to it. So if you want to, you can go to the layers panel, 
go to layers, maybe add effects there. And also what you can do, of course, you can go to filters and you've got all these effects here as well. Or maybe use layer menu and new live filter layer and apply, say like Gaussian blur to that design. So you just bring that up there, radius, and you can see you can manipulate it to create a different design. Now they're great sources for brushes, maybe a great source for a pattern design as well. Whole range of different designs for it. So again, select that and remove that. Now it's a layer. When you create this design, so I'm just going to go to artistic again. Let's go and select a different one. And I'm going to go for maybe that one. You've got that design there. Just click there and then double click. And you've got your design added very quickly there. And you can keep it as that. You don't have to change it. Of course, you can still change the color. Select that. Go up here. Maybe do that. And then, of course, what you can also do, you can always go to layer and you can rasterize it. You can convert to curves if you want to do that or add that. Or again, go to layers and I'll just drag that over here. Go down to FX and maybe add an outer shadow. You've got your design there. And of course, what you can do, you've still got live type, so you can just select there, select it, and then change it. Double click, select it, double click and so on. So that's a great way of creating all kinds of designs from using this Glyph browser. And you've got access to all these different designs. And of course, not only what you can do, you've also got regular, bold, whatever, depending on the typeface itself. Also, you can, variety of ones, there you've got see, different basic Latin, general punctuation, geometric shapes, not very many in these. You've got the designs down at the bottom as well. So you can always, of course, select the design there and say you've got your, and it doesn't have all vast amounts, but you can just go through and say, change that very quickly, double click, and you've got your design there. So you've got a number of options there, you've got options there, there as well. So that's the Glyph browser. And you can use it in countless other ways. But that's a quick run through, a basic run through of the Glyph browser. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. Always having new tutorials about Photoshop, Finity Photo, of course, Finity Designer, Illustrator, Painter, Critter, and many, many others. Please add some comments. Always appreciate it. Always nice to hear what have I done right, what have I done wrong. Maybe I've done something wrong in the tutorial. You might say that is complete. Please let me know. A dislike or like. Thank you much.